everyone and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I truly appreciate your attention and time. Thank you very much for spending a little time with me today. And I hope everybody is doing well during these difficult uh, periods in our lives. Uh, you know, it's uh, 2021 and as everybody must know, the virus thing is uh, probably affecting us all in one way or another and uh, hopefully you and yours are doing well okay so best wishes to you and good luck and today I wanted to uh, expand again your horizon on what kind of products you might offer by pointing out something else that you can print using your sleeve palette or like do you remember the video that I did about printing sweatpants? Okay, so here it is. This is actually the pair of sweatpants, if I can get it in the shot here. This is the pair of sweatpants that I um, printed <laughs> in the original video about printing uh, down the leg of some kind of thing like sweatpants, okay? And you'll want to watch that video as a prerequisite for this one because it, it, it explains the placement of the text depending on how you lay it out all right so you're going to want to watch the you know how to print fleece sweatpants video which will go through the whole thing about how in, how to set up <laughs> this scenario here on your screens okay but today what i wanted to point out okay again here's an old pair of sweatpants i have these were probably printed believe it or not, in the 80s sometime, late 80s, and they're dragons, right? So these are sweatpants, and right, as you know, we use like a sleeve palette or a long pant leg palette, tapered kind of thing, right? Okay, so what you can also print, believe it or not, because usually uh, most denim is 100% cotton, we can actually print jeans. All right, so that's gonna raise another question. Um, can you print on laundered garments? And yes, you can, but there's some things to note about that. And there's another video that will be a prerequisite for this. Uh, and I'll put the links to those two, the uh, sweatpants video and then the laundered garments video. I'll put that in the video description, open that up, and the links will be there for that so you can watch those two videos. And you can print on new denim, brand new denim, or yes, it is possible to print on laundered or used washed denim, as long as you're aware of a few things, okay? So check out the video description for those two prerequisite videos. But today, I just thought it would be fun to uh, just kind of wing it here. I haven't printed pants or sweatpants or sleeves or anything in a really long time. So I have my palette here. I burned a screen uh, for, uh, basically I used the same film. Use the same film. I'm supposed to be prepared for these videos and have this visual aid ready, right? But I used the same pieces of film. Here's another uh, cool thing, is an example of how long film can last. Look at the year the sweatpant video was done. I found the film, I had it, and I used it to burn the screen we're gonna to use today to print some denim. And we're gonna to try to print some white ink on a dark one, and then maybe uh, black ink on these other light ones and just show you how you can, you know, you can expand your product line by being creative and thinking outside the box. Denim usually is 100% cotton, unless you're like wearing like one of these pair of pants I have here from, uh, American Eagle or something, and it has a little bit of stretch to it. So you'd want to check that out. Um, there can be synthetic materials in, in certain genes, but 100% cotton denim is basically the same difference as printing a t-shirt. So you could even do a denim jacket or what have you. All right, so uh, I don't know, let's, uh, let's make the screen and see if we can set up and print a couple of uh, couple of pairs of uh, denim. Like I said, we'll try to print white on this one and then maybe black on these two or something. We'll just wing it and, you know, expand your horizons. So let's check it out. Thank you. 
All right, so here's just a test print so I can see what's going on here. Some high opacity uh, plastisol white. So let's just see how this setup is printing because I didn't really finesse it that much because this is just demonstrative for you. All right, so, you know, um, again, this is a 20 by 24 screen. So, um, you know, if you used like a 20, 23 by 31, we could move it down a little bit. But the way this is, I'm going to have to pull, you know, the thing up. So let's take this off and see. We have, I have one pair that's dark enough to do white. I think this leg has a longer span without, you know, it's dark. And you're going to want to make it flat, pull the pocket out. And these are things you got to consider when you're, you know, setting stuff up like this. So you always want to mock it up and check because, again, as I mentioned in the sweatpant video, the smaller the garment is, you may not be able to pull it uh, up as high. Like this is a really small pair of jeans that I used to wear when I was younger and thinner and <laughs> I, I, I can't fit into these anymore at all so what I'm doing is just kind of we're gonna flatten it out a little bit and you know this is a laundered pair of jeans and we're gonna have to four wheel a little bit up here possibly let's see let's take a look here uh, let me move the mic over here Let's see, so if we're like here, you know, so yeah, I got, I got this little scenario over here that I don't like. So let me see what I can do. Okay, and this is the kind of thing, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Mock everything up before you promise anything to anybody, okay? and know what sizes they're going to order ahead of time. You don't want them to order youth or small sizes. Supplies! You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's pretty good actually. That's pretty flat. And I think we have enough spray tack down <laughs> as insurance. It's funny, I'm laughing because I haven't shot a video in a long time. So this is... Uh, it's fun, but uh, let's see, guys, I don't know. Are we going to print a rag or will this be, you know, wearable? Because you know what you can do with these things? I was uh, mentioning in the tutorial, membership tutorial on the uh, e-commerce site that you can, if you don't wear them or sell them or whatever, you can actually print like this. I can't wear these, right? So I can put this print on here and if it comes out decent, I could bring it down to the... Uh, the uh, you know thrift place that buys clothes right they buy jeans especially lots of denim so let's see if we could pull off a print that is not crap <laughs> okay so see what I'm saying pretty cool actually yeah and yeah so you want to watch the sweatpants video uh, so you can get placement and screen making in that one as well and also the laundry video where we talk about printing laundered garments because something like this let's see if we could lay a little bit more ink down might you know since it's been washed it has whoops don't want to drop oh yeah that's good enough it has uh, laundry detergent you know it's not completely rinsed out of the garment and the laundry detergent can affect the way the plastisol ink bonds to the fabric so watch the video about can you print you know laundered garments all right so let me um let's see here i'm going to pull this off we'll give you some close-up shots of course but we're going to pull this off and then um i'll put on one of these maybe this one got this color and we'll do black ink real quick and uh, that's it. Just kind of, like I said, expand your horizons. Not only can, can you print sleeves, you can print sweatpants 
and you can print denim or any kind of long-legged logo wear, right? Okay, so <laughs> really quick here. This is funny. I'm laughing because what I'm about to show you is uh, uh, a lazy thing that would probably happen if I only had two shirts to print with two different colors like this. Um, as you can see, hold on, let me first, uh, you know, this pair of pants went up a little bit higher. It was uh, uh, not as a, a tapered cut, wide leg or whatever, bootleg, whatever it is. I don't remember. It's American Eagle or something. Again, but these things don't fit me anymore because uh, I'm old and fat uh, compared to what I was back then. So, you know what I mean. All right. <laughs> uh, so, it's black ink. And I'm not even going to do a test print because black ink is pretty easy. And, you know, whatever. Listen. We'll be okay. All right. So, I lined it up. And this is what I'm talking about. I didn't even clean up. Look. There's ink over here. But... The black will overpower anything, it's fine, and uh, I'll clean this up after I finish the video for you guys. And uh, I'm just trying to give you a little, you know, okay, taste of what things you can do, you know, and you can really kind of take it to the next level. You know, expand your horizon and uh, denim, whatever leggings jeggings this that and the other things okay so you look real good this actually black ink is so easy to print you know we could hit it one more time i think just to give it some nice saturation on the thin lines but uh that's it guys so you know just uh think outside the box with your palettes again like the video i made a couple of months back about whatever you can get onto your press, you can print. So it's the same thing with like a sleeve palette. What can you put on your sleeve palette? Different types of products. So, uh, you know, think about it and uh, I hope this uh, video was enjoyable. All right, here's, here's a quick close up for you guys. Sorry, I'm uh, laughing because it's been a long time since I made a printing video and, uh, <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So. So yeah, actually, you know what? Denim prints pretty good. I mean, it actually prints very well. Nice, crisp, clean. You know what I'm saying? And that's an old pair of jeans. And then here's, let's see if I can get this centered right for you. Here's the black on this weird tan or natural color. And uh, yeah, so denim, even with white ink, high opacity ink and stuff, whoops, it uh, prints pretty good. Not bad, so uh, check it out. All right, I hope I uh, didn't goof this video up too much for you guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Okay, so uh, that's it. I hope I didn't forget to mention anything. Here's the uh, white. Let's see, can I get over here and you can see, you know, the waist, well, this one, the length and legs and everything, this one's way too small. I could never fit into, the, <laughs> into this one again. Okay, but you can get the idea, right? Down the leg, okay? And then we had this one here, which was on this side, right? So let's see i'm having trouble so i'm blind i can't see i think you can see that that one's a little lower and again you can play with the placement meaning you know like i said a bigger screen will allow you to bring it out a little bit farther like if you used a 23 by 31 screen that would allow you to bring the design out a little bit down in case maybe you wanted to print you know down here right okay so just think about it is uh somebody i used to know would say think about it and you can, uh, you know, maybe create some new products or uh, have a little fun yourself just for the heck of it. All right. So I hope that was pretty cool. I'll give you a close up of the prints here before we go. And, uh, you know, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for being with me for 11 years, 11 years on YouTube. It's amazing. I'm still going. I'm still printing videos or <laughs> printing videos. I'm still printing videos and T-shirts. Can you print a video? Hmm. So 
Uh, thank you so much for you know hanging with me uh, for so many years and I'm glad I can help everybody out especially during this time check out the tutorial on catspitscreenprintsupply.com it is paid it's like $14.99 a month it's very cheap and I am trying to interact there with you know everybody who's in there looking at the uh, over 10 years 11 years of content organized into one place all right, it's pretty cool. It's very simple, but it's like uh, 27 chapters and then some bonus chapters, and it organizes all my stuff into one place so you can go through it in sequence in the proper order of the whole screen printing process from start to finish. Okay, so check that out if you're interested in that. If you have questions, let me know. Of course, I'm happy to help out. CatspitScreenPrintSupply.com. Thanks for watching. Best wishes to you and yours during this time, love and goodwill. We'll see you all next time.